So we have reached the, this is a new sign. We were just noticing it. We're heading to the Tumbling Run Shelter, which is to the right, as you can see the white blaze and the arrow. And then up here on the tree, you can see the two blazes. We had, um, we had some questions on some of our Facebook posts about the blazes. What the blazes mean. Right. Um, why there were two. So two stacked on top of each other means it, the, the trail's gonna turn. If the top one is to the right, it's a right-hand turn, and if the top one is to the left, it's a left-hand turn. Yep. So that's why there are two blazes. So we know to turn right here. Hi everybody, Shannon and Karen with Wandering Out Yonder. Today, we are going to go on the Chimney Rocks Trail here in, I guess this is Michaud? It's still Michaud. It's okay. Michaud State mm -hmm. Forest. Um, we have a special visitor with us. Say hi, Frankie. Hi, Frankie. <laughs> She's really not that special. We see her all the time. <laughs> but this is her first appearance in a PA video. Yes, yeah, she hasn't yes. been up here in quite some time. We thought we would take her on one of our favorite hikes. So anyhow, we hope you guys will come along and enjoy the hike. All right. So we have reached the Tumbling Run Shelter area. This is an absolutely beautiful area for shelter. And it is a really, really nice and well-kept shelter area. We're gonna take you guys around and show you. Off to the right here, this is the pretty. And then also down that trail, way down there are more camping spots. Yep. All right, this oh, one. Nice. Yeah, this like switch. This oh. privy has oh, a pretend doorbell. Switch. All right. So Shannon's going to show you. Here, like, doorbell. You know, it doesn't really work. No. And then inside there's a, there's a light switch. Yeah. That goes to nothing. Yeah. But there you go. Solar or lunar, whichever you prefer. <laughs> yep. They have a all right, yeah, so this is new since we were last here. It's like a little sitting area. And then there's a fire pit in the center. Yeah, that's all new. So this is really nice. And there's another little path. I do know the spring is way out that way. And then down is a natural spring for water, a water source. And then up here, they have the two shelters. And again, these are such well-maintained shelter areas. in the middle is the picnic table a covered area in case it's raining two picnic tables available yeah hammock area over to the left and then here's the fire pit out front of the shelter So these um, shelters have some clothes lying around back for those times when things get soaked and you need to hang them out to dry. There you go. But yeah, this is a really, really nice shelter area. You have a snoring and a non-snoring cabin or shelter to stay in. See? All right. So the other thing that they have at this particular shelter area are uh, to, to hang your food so those are super nice you don't get to see those very much uh, around this area that I know of they do have them here all right so we're getting ready to leave the shelter area and we're gonna head on the trail when we get to the top this is pretty steep um, I guess about a thousand foot incline right here over about three quarters of a mile once we get to the top, there's a really nice view. We'll share that with you. So like I said, pretty much straight up. There's a mountain there. And it's rocky. And there are ice patches everywhere, everywhere out here. That's a tiny one right there. But yeah, this trail is pretty much covered in ice. And we forgot our, what are they called, crampons? Micro spikes. Micro spikes. Now yeah. it is the last week of December, so it's pretty cold. Should be expected. It's in the 30s. So, yeah. I think it's just hit 30. Yeah, it just hit 30 degrees. So everything's still frozen. Yeah, see, this ice is underneath the leaves everywhere. All right, so this is part of the Appalachian Trail. 
this will take you to the top and then you'll cut across the ridge to continue on or if you're going the other direction this will take you down you'll go across the street and continue on but yeah this is a pretty steep area through here either going up or down it's rocky and steep So you can tell that we are getting higher because we are seeing just a little bit more snow. So we've reached the top and you can see on the tree up ahead. You can go right and it will take you over to the Chimney Rocks area, which is where we're going. And going left, you will continue down the AT, which we will be doing at some point, but right now we're going to go over to the right. Right. It's good. It's good One too. spot. Frankie's trying. And I'm a freaky tuna person. Frankie's yeah. trying tuna pack for the first time. Where do you live? Egg in there, yeah. Okay. I'm going here. Okay. And some pickle. You're going. Yeah. You'll like it. What you got, Karen? I got. I have a salad. She does. And I have some tuna. And I have a boiled egg in here. That's lunch. We have cookies. Now, mm. is there a boiled egg that is? That y'all buy that's, that's no, it's the first time we try these. Or do you usually <laughs> what you doing, Frankie? <laughs> Checking for lettuce in the teeth. Do I go in any lettuce? <laughs> <laughs> She's setting herself up for her movie shot. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. He's huge. What is that? Is that one of those um, vulture hawks or whatever they, they're called? Turkey vultures? Turkey vultures, yeah. He's preening himself, isn't he? That's what I'm saying. I'm debating right now. Is it exactly what I'd rather scoot and not worry and then try to. I'm pretty sure that I have this same shot in Rainier. Yes. <laughs> and in Vasquez. Vasquez, yeah. Vasquez and me. So there's a lot of butt scooting. That's all right. That's good. Sorry. Yeah. Especially with the ice. Mm So we are heading down from Chimney Rocks now, making, getting ready to make the, <clears throat> the climb down. And it's a bit longer down. It's a nice steady pace down. It's a really pretty trail. It's called the Hermitage Trail. It's kind of a loop. Now, if you go straight here, this is the Appalachian Trail that we're on right now. We're getting ready to make a left. You can see there is a blue blaze up there. That's how the Hermitage Trail is blazed in blue. If you go that way, that's the Appalachian Trail, and you can see way out there, way on that tree, is the White Blaze.
So we've made it to the bottom and the water's flowing pretty good. We've had so much rain and ice and snow. And the hill is the cabin. It's flowing pretty good all around us. Some place for a snack today. We're heading back up to get on the trail. The remaining part of this trail will be walking next to this creek, but there's all kinds of ice everywhere along the, the creek. Really pretty. Look out across the ridge over here. That's just like a cascade of ice coming out of the side of the ridge. There's so much ice everywhere. Yeah, this is the remnants of that storm that came through during Christmas. Pretty sure I have a shot like this from Rainier too. <laughs> <laughs> She's stuck. Well, the tree is taller than me. <laughs> Here made that look a lot easier, Frankie. <laughs> Her legs are longer. <laughs> so we have made it all the way down to the bottom again. We're back down to the shelter area. And over to the right is the creek. Like I said earlier in the video, you cross over from the shelter over here on the left. And there's actually a little bridge that takes you down to the spring to get water. But there's like right now water everywhere. So, yeah. See right down there. Takes you right down there. There's a little bridge right there. All right. <laughs> well, thanks everybody for joining us today as we went wandering out yonder here in uh, the Chaussee Forest on the Chimney Rocks and Hermitage Trail, the Appalachian Trail as well. Um, we enjoyed the hike. It was an absolutely beautiful day. A little bit cold, maybe in the 30s, um, but actually really nice hiking weather. So anyhow, thanks a lot guys and we will see you later. Peace out. Bye.